Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, the Home Shepherds, Caldwell Banker Seacoast. Today, we are highlighting Eagle Run in Calabash, North Carolina. Um, the builder is Pulte, and we're gonna walk through the model home and ask some questions that we think might be questions that you would wanna know. So, uh, come on, follow us in. So Brian, this is the plan we're going to look at, right? Correct. This the is the Dunwoody Way. Three bedroom, okay. three bathroom, 2,437 square feet, plus it has an office as well. Okay. How many right. plans do you guys we offer? Can, we carry plans? six different plans here at, at Eagle Run. Three large ones and three smaller ones. Anywhere from 1,700 square feet up to 3,200 square feet. Okay. Five of those plans are going to be single story plans and one's going to be an automatic two story. Look at the beautiful detail already. I love how bright and open this is. Yes. So. so for this plan, Brian, this is the office? Correct. You'll have a flex room or an office on the side when you first walk in. Okay. And what is the standard door here? So a standard door is just going to be an opening here. So if you did decide to do some great uh, barn doors, you'd have a great opening for that. Okay. And then the upgrade that we would choose would be this nice set of doors right here. Okay. Okay, great. It's beautiful. Just off to the right when you walk in the door is going to be your second bedroom, which is going to be a very large second bedroom. It would be a full bathroom en suite to this, so it would make a great mother-in-law suite or a great teenager bedroom. I like the way it is separated very private from the rest of the house. Yes. It almost gets the feel of a smaller kind of front here. Absolutely. Now, I noticed the crown molding and additional details like that. Is that standard or? Is Those are optional. So what we do is we give you the, the buyer a lot of choices so they can actually decide what they want to do to customize their home to make it theirs. So that not every house is going to look the same. Okay. Do you do coffered ceilings? We do not do coffered ceilings. We do a tray ceiling in the owner suite, which for a slight change, you could actually, after the fact, make it into a coffered ceiling. Beautiful wide open floor plan, great for entertaining, keeps everybody in the conversation. Tell us a little more, Brian, about when we were walking in, you said you had the different three small plans, and so tell us your square footage ranges. Absolutely, so we have the small series is gonna be between 1,700 and 1,900 square feet. Okay. And three bedrooms, two bath, plus an office as well with those. Okay. The larger series is going to be the 2,400 square feet up to the 3,200 square foot long. So from, what was your starting? 1,700 17 to? 17 to? 20, to 3,200. To 3,200. Yep. So it's size for everybody. Absolutely. Okay. I love all the windows there, the sliders. Let's a lot of light in. Yeah. The Definitely. The KitchenAid appliances, is that, is that a standard package or is it coming with something different? Whirlpool is a standard package, KitchenAid is an optional package, same family of, of appliances. And is this considered like a gourmet kitchen? It's considered a gourmet kitchen. So Absolutely. a standard kitchen would just have a range? It would be a slide-in electric range would okay. be standard. So the gourmet kitchen, you go to the full wall, oven, microwave combination, cooktop, either gas or electric. Uh, we don't have natural gas here as Rutherford County does in the normal area, so we do have propane as an option to, to battle against not having that. Okay. Beautiful Long Island. Mm -hmm. Large pantry. pantry. Oh, yeah. So this island is standard in this particular model? This island is standard up to a certain point. We do have one cabinet added here as an extension just to add an extra cabinet at the end, so you can do some extra storage, otherwise it would end right about here. Still a very large island. Okay. What is your standard countertop? Standard countertop is going to be granite. Granite, and this is quartz. And this is quartz. Okay. Right. So we have three different levels of granite you can choose from. You've got your included granite, and you have two upgraded levels, and then you have your quartz as your third level of upgrade. Okay. Lots of different colors we offer for cabinets. We do allow you to mix and match. If you notice, this island is gray, and this exterior cabinets and the perimeter cabinets are white. So we do allow that so you can add that contrast in your kitchen. We do have colors such as white, 
three different shades of gray. We have an admiral blue, so we and a lot of browns, all the different shades of brown. So we kind of give you all those contrast colors, whatever matches your needs. While we're here at the easels, let's talk a little bit about the layout of the community and where you are in the building process and what's what will be available when. Absolutely. So we have four different phases for this community for a total of 303 homes. That's the full build out plan. We are almost complete with phase one. This is phase one. When you see red dot, that means it's sold. What I have here for yellow dots, what those are is we actually offer two different build processes. We offer a quick move in for the buyer that needs to move quickly. And we also offer a to be built option where you can actually design your entire home. So we try to meet the needs of all the buyers. Where you see a yellow dot, like I said, those are homes that we've already built. They're under construction. They're up to a, within a two month closing period. Then we make them available for sale. If you see a green dot, those are lots that are available to purchase where you can actually put together a package your home and, and put it on that home site. Phase one is essentially complete for our builds except for these two. We have transition into phase two and phase three. And then the final phase is going to be right here, which is phase four. This is where you're going to see all the green dots where you can go ahead and pick your lot. Say, I want this home site, this floor plan, and this, these options that go together. We do separate them by series just based on the lot size. So the larger series homes would go on the light color. The smaller series homes, which is the 17 to 1900, would go on the darker orange. That's just simply because the width of the lot is different to, to accommodate the size of the homes. Okay. And so on the ones that you have started for sale, um, you put them up for sale when they're two weeks from, two months, two months I'm sorry, two yes. months from completion. Correct. And, um, and so that's when you're setting the price on them. The price will already be set. It will we be just set. won't offer it for sale. So we don't okay. change prices around. I mean, I can tell you what the price of my most recent denoted is right now, if that were available for sale. So if I ran out of houses and they decided to make it for sale before that two month period, we could do that as well. Um, but once we get to the point of uh, making it for sale, the price doesn't change. We don't, unless we had any incentives, if we have any current incentives, depending on what those okay. are. So, um, if you ran out though, they may release some Correct. Some it just happened in the scenario right now. So we have a home right now that's more than two months out. So I have done what this plan we're standing in now is a very, very popular plan and we sold down to one. We only have one remaining. So they have released a home right here that's farther out than two months just to make sure we have more than one to choose from. Okay. And on the to be built, um, I know a lot of builders are not doing that anymore right now, but you are allowing them to pick their home site pick options so they can customize it for themselves. Absolutely, in that okay. situation as well, we also do offer contingencies, so that helps the buyer be able to, if they have a home to sell, we will offer a home to sell contingency. What that means is that they would have to put their house on the market, but we would sell them the home, lock in all the contract price, lock in any current incentives, whatever those might be, lock in any, any finance incentives. That was be locked in a contract, give them a certain amount of time to get their house under contract, so it kind of eases the pain of having to sell their house once they're under contract and scramble to find a place to go. This way we kind of help them ease into the process. Okay, and any set amount of time for that contingency or it's just case specific? It's case specific. We normally give them 30 days from the time they put it on the market, which they have to put it on the market within seven days after we go to contract and we give them about 30 days and then we have to reevaluate. Obviously if their house is worth $500,000 and they're listing it for 750, we're not going to accept a contingency, but as long as they're, they make sense and they're trying to, and it's a, they're working towards getting that taken care of, we will definitely extend that contingency. At some point, we have to call it um, at that point, but we'll make sure we do as okay. much as we can to help the customer. Okay, great. Great outdoor space. I love those, what is that called? Cascading? Telescoping. 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 Beautiful right outdoor space. Um, this is a design element that we have out here. It's not something that we build, but I definitely want to throw it out there so people can see. These are some great options that you can put in some of your homes uh, after the fact to kind of build that outdoor oasis. This screen in porch is 12 foot by 20 foot. Definitely large enough for the game uh, to hang out yes. and enjoy and definitely entertain out here. And the beautiful day like today, you bring the inside out and the outside in. It's a great room. And on the base plan, is there a covered porch or the porch is not at Just all on the, the base? Just the patio is what's the base patio plan. on the base. Yeah, so okay. we have a few different options we can do here. So that's why we don't pick one and stick with it. We do have a covered porch option. We do have a screened in porch option. And we do have a sunroom. Sometimes people call it Carolina rooms where this floor will extend straight through. And this will be another heated and air conditioned square footage space. Okay. It essentially just moves this wall to there. But it, 
would be the sliders. It would have to be windows and a door. Mm -hmm. So it'd be an extra space you could use for a formal dining room or a large sunroom. And I heard you live in a house like that. I do live in this house, and I do have a sunroom that looks just like this. Transition to the owner suite. Nice little entrance section that actually keeps this separated from the main room. And we step into this overly large owner suite. Lots of light, beautiful space. This is a king size bed. Very well equipped owner's bathroom. This walk in super shower is an option. The standard shower is very well equipped as well. And then an absolute owner's closet to die for. So, with so many different options, I know that it has to be a terribly big range, but for this house, from base price to say what we're seeing today, what would be that range? So my range for selling a Dunwoody is between about, it, again, it could be a large range, but between probably 450 to five and a quarter, depending on how crazy you want to get with your options. This model as it sits has almost every upgraded option we offer. Uh, and it says probably around 550 but again every nobody's going to choose every single combination you see in the model for the most part i have to that's a smaller range than i expected yeah. actually yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's gives you lots of room to move it around yeah. this is a huge room this is yeah, do you know what the dimensions are off the top of your head no, okay yeah, that's fine right. it's huge because this yeah. is a king size bed mm -hmm. So, is it a split HVA system? Is that just because you have the garage made as an office? Yes, that's what it is. Okay. So, you would have one AC unit that handles the entire house. We would just rate the tonnage based on how many square feet you have. Okay. If you, you, this floor plan can also add a second story to it, making it a 3,600 square foot house. If you do that, they'll still stay with one unit. It would just, it's big enough, it would be large enough that actually would use a, a multi zone unit. Okay. Down this little hallway here, you're going to find your third bedroom. I love the way they're all three completely separate. We have a great closet in this hallway, great for storage. If you happen to overshop at Costco, it gives you that great space <laughs> for it. But this is going to be your third and guest bathroom, the one that the guests would use, and your third bedroom. While we are in here, do you want to tell us anything about the construction here that you have outlined? Absolutely. A couple different pieces that uh, are systems that uh, you're, most people aren't aware of. So let's start with the center one. This is one of the great ones. This is called the Curdy system. It's actually a system that goes behind the walls. It's a fully waterproof uh, system that goes back there because, as we all know, grout does let water through. So we do allow that. It also gives a whole lot of protection for mold and mildew, uh, and that is installed in all of our showers. Some of the other pieces we do with our windows. So this is where you're gonna see windows. A lot of different pieces behind the windows. Something you're not gonna see there essentially is we do use windows that are category hurricane, category three hurricane rated. So they'll withstand winds up to 135 miles an hour. They are not crash protective. So if something flies into them, that's not there. So it doesn't have to film over, but it is hurricane three rated. They are low e-glaze, single hung windows. Very sound deafening when you come to it. You don't hear outside as we're standing in here. The third piece is all about our footings, and one of the important pieces that I like the best is these two little fingers you see sticking up. What those are is that's part of our hurricane preparedness or hurricane stability that we have here. What that happens is the, the bottom board that goes across when you build your house is called the bottom plate. That bottom plate has these all around the outside perimeter of the house, and those are wrapped down and nailed into the bottom plate, holding the bottom plate into the slab. There are pieces that go up through the entire build process, up through the trusses that will hold everything in together. So essentially everything is tied into your slab with these pieces of metal. We also do a four inch monolithic slab, which is a single pour. It's gonna have your grating in there and also your footers with your rebar. Okay. So 
out this way, we're going to have a walk through to the laundry room and a great mud room where you can stop and drop all your stuff so you don't carry it into the house. We transition through here into the garage. We'll just talk about that. Ours has been converted to an office, but what this garage would be is a two-car garage plus an additional golf cart garage. So in the, from the front, you will see one large 18-foot door and one six-foot door next to it. And is that standard for this floor plan? That is a standard feature for the Dunwoody. You'll always get that. Always get the golf, course, golf cart. Absolutely. Outside, I mean, we heard when we were coming in a lot of construction, so they are building your amenities, it looks like. Absolutely. So our amenities are going to be a 2,200 square foot pool. We're going to have two pickleball courts. We are going to have a wood burning fire pit on the water, and we're going to have a pavilion with some bathrooms. HOA dues in this neighborhood are $55 a month. Oh, wow. wow. And when you say on the water, what do you, these are our... So there's, there's four ponds in this neighborhood. So there's a fire pit and there's a pond behind the community center and there's the fire pit. will go right over where that big backhoe is up there. The caterpillar. So there's a good fire pit right there. A nice long water. And time-wise, I know it's just a guess, but what is your build-out estimate? The build-out estimate is about two and a half years from that. Well, Brian, thank you for giving us so much information today. Absolutely. We really appreciate it. And guys, if you've watched this far to the end, we appreciate that. Um, if Eagle Run looks like it may be the neighborhood for you, give us a call at the Home Shepherds and the general phone. I always forget. Um, so, 910-443-1530. Your phone? Your phone? always reach uh, Darren Carey at 757-807-9369. See you next time. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Guys. Bye.